All right, my name is Frank Campbell, and this is Wholesale Vendors. And what we're going to do today is take apart this Victor 77 mechanism and make it into 50 cents. So we'll get started. Uh, it's held on there with cotter pin. So you need to pull that out. Take the back gear off, and then uh, unhook this spring. And take out the handle. Then we can take off the back plate screws. That one I want to leave in there for now. So, uh, These were made in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, they stopped making them roughly 20 years ago. So there's the back plate, and we can check that it's really nice and flat. There's no bends in it in any direction. Okay. So there's the coin wheel. This one I've already cut a slot in there with a Dremel and carbide cutter. So what I do is clamp that down, go back and forth across here till it's thin enough. Then I go up and clean out the corners just like that. So also we'll check the coin wheel that it's pretty flat. Never got bent. It's flat across here. There's no cracks in here. And there's no flash in here. So everything looks just proper. Now, also what I did was cut a slot in the coin paw. I'll show you that to the camera. Right here. So it's approximately right in the middle. Cut a fairly deep uh, slot so that it won't accept just one quarter. I'll show you that that'll go down when there's only one quarter and it won't let one quarter pass. A little bit tricky getting that started. So that's a shoulder screw so that has to fit over top of the shoulder. So that still swings free even though the screw is tight. And then it's still a little tricky to put the spring back on these little posts like that. And we can clean up some of this old grease out of here. Like that. Put the coin wheel back in. On a Victor, it's got a label on it, so you want the label up. Looks professional. Okay, that all goes back like that. Then we're going to try the quarters. So 
So that's smooth right across there with two quarters. And you take two quarters, just hold them a little bit, and that lifts the paw so that it works with two quarters. But you take off one and hold it. It doesn't allow one quarter. So that's pretty much it. Then you just put it back together. All right, so we're putting the back plate back on, and uh, these screws are just the right length, so they don't come through the face. Uh, this is pretty much the only com company that drilled holes straight on through, and then you put the screws in just the right length. This little machine has just the right amount of torque so that it doesn't twist off the screw or uh, strip it out, break it off, whatever. Just testing it through there before I move on. I'll put the cam back on. this return ball. So in good light you can see right on through there. Let you know that the deals and this is a new cotter pin and I actually put a bit of a point on. I think you can buy them with points but this one here I put the point on. go through real easy because it's 330 seconds and that hole is just about the right size to turn over sometimes helps and twist it don't want to go through there even though I could see light through there and if I hit on it it could just bend but I think I'll try to this spring. One last test. Two is just fine. And one won't go. So perfect. Just bend that down a little bit. I think I can see in there. A little hard to see in the dark here. There we go. I spread that cotter pin so it's not coming off. And all the screws are tight. And I've also cleaned it, scrubbed it really, really good because this was just nasty. Got all down in here and then sealed it with T9. This is one of my polishers. It's nice and spongy. 
I put a good abrasive cleaner around there and just go all the way around there and do the whole edge. So that works good. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.